take a look at the new Cricut Monogram Maker. On your desktop version of Cricut Design Space, you're going to find the button Monogram on the left hand side. When I click on that, it opens up a new window. First off, you're going to get this message that tells you that to cut or print or make any of these designs, you're going to need to have Cricut access. And it's encouraging you to start the free trial if you are not a Cricut Access member. You can click continue just to play with it and explore it. Now this means I can design things, but I can't click the make it button because that's when it's going to ask me to charge. Or it's going to ask to charge me for Cricut Access. So, to start off, there's an initials. My name is Sean Marie Mosh. So my initials are S M M. So I can enter those here. Then I can start to look at the different options. There's some classic ones, modern, elegant, handwritten, or vintage. I can go under the thematic and these are going to add more uh, design elements. So there's a whole section for botanical, decorative, different occasions such as graduation or the holidays, interest, which you know, get into your hobbies that you might want to explore, or sports. I'm a hockey mom, so I kind of like this little hockey one. Um, then you can play with the different fonts and go through those. And I love that you get this little preview to really see how your design is going to look. For some of them, it does make the middle letter, which would be your last name, larger. And if you're into that look, you can do that. Um, it is nice to have that, that preview. I can scroll through it by clicking on the different fonts here or by scrolling this way, it just updates to the next font. I'm gonna go back to something more basic. Yeah, I kind of like that one. So that I can tell it, do I want to look for just ones that are cut or cut and draw? This will then filter down our different previews or options that we have, depending on what we choose. So I'm gonna go back to any. Um, that's kind of a nice one though. Okay, so once I decide what I like, I can say add to canvas. And from here, I can resize it to fit my project. And I can see that it stays all grouped together. It's also showing me that the letters are right here, all in a basic cut. And then it's these pieces and then the little dashes. If I go over to color sync, I can see it's all made up of two colors. For me personally, I might want to attach the two teal blue layers to each other so that they cut in the exact same placement for positioning things. So it's really a great designing tool. Prior to having the monogram maker, I would have had to go under text, type in SMM, and oops, then go and find a font that I like. I'm just picking anything here just to show you how I would have done this beforehand. That is an ugly font for what I'm doing. So let's find something else. 
Oh, that looks nice. Okay. And then to make these little lines, I would have gone under my shapes. And made little lines. Oops. So you can see how in the past, this is how I would have designed the same look. So this is making things a lot quicker and easier because it's, um, oops, it's, it's basically giving you the design to start with. There are SVG files out there that would have had these top and bottom elements already designed and then you would have just added your text between them. And you can still use those. There we go. And then I would have duplicated this. And then to find these pieces, I would have gone under images and they kind of look like teardrops. So that shows you the new monogram maker tool compared to how I would have tried to put the same or similar design together without using the monogram tool. And you could actually still use this by using the monogram tool to kind of get your vision. And then you go find those pieces and design it because now if I got rid of this, because I do not have access, I could make this without applying for the access program. I hope this helps you understand how to use the new monogram tool or even how to use it as inspiration for your own custom designs. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.